Hey everybody, my name is Ubaidah Hamdi and welcome back to this uh, XGen Tips and Tricks tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about a problem I have faced many times using XGen. So, for this problem it was like when I created this part of guides I started off with a geometry, simple geometry. I shaped it, gave it some twist to give me this rounded edges and then I select the edge, modify, convert to polygon edges to curves. So here I would get a curve. I hide it now. I'm having like full curves. So I got these curves. I selected them down. Now oh, before I create a description, new description. Testing 02 description. Let's put it in a new collection, placing and guide and shading guides, create. So now I got a description and I want to convert these curves to a guides for XGen to use. I go to utilities, I make curves to guide modifier and then I select add guides. So here's the problem. When I did it, I generate the hair. give me anything and you started testing like the density you rise the density you rise it a lot and you're still getting a very very few shapes guides so after I figured out the problem it was like before I convert them let me delete these guides show you my curves so the problem was the guy's starting point was this so when I'm converting it to guide it's snapping this part it was snapping this vertex to the root and it's making it like the root of the guide which that was what giving the problem so I'm gonna be selecting all the curves I'm gonna be reversing its direction reverse direction and now I'm gonna be retrying it so now when I added the guides I'm gonna be generating the curve and here you see it It was just as simple as that, but you need to be careful while creating these guides from a curve. 